I just want to say a little bit about comments. Comments are embedded documentation. Here you can see that all the text between pairs of curly brackets are comments. Now, these sorts of comments can in fact span multiple lines. So although I've put curly brackets on each line, if I delete them, as here, just leave the opening and closing curly brackets, they will be tre treated as a single comment block. So from here to here is one comment block. These are the standard type of Pascal comment. There's another type of standard Pascal comment, which is a pair of parentheses enclosing asterisks. Oops, like this. So this is also a comment. Now, usually it's a good idea to stick to one or the other of these. I generally stick to just the curly bracket comments. And the use, usefulness of that is that if I wanted to comment out a whole block of code which already includes comments, say I wanted to comment out everything from here right down to, well, let's put it down to the bottom here. But there are already comments there. I can just put one sort of comment around the other sort of comment like this. And when I'm finished, I can just delete the enclosing comments. There's another sort of comment that is supported by Free Pascal and also by Delphi, and that's a line comment. And that's just double slash characters like that. That comments out a whole line up to the end of the line. Or if you want to put a, a comment that takes up a part of a line, say after a bit of code, then just put the comment characters where you want them to start and just write the comment following the code. And now that comment goes until the end of the line. I've put a lot of comments in some of the programs in this course because this is, after all, a tutorial and I want to provide the maximum amount of explanation. In a real-world program, you would probably put fairly small comments only to explain or clarify things which are not easy to understand in the code. And if you're working with a team, it's very likely that there'll be some standards for how you comment. Maybe above a procedure, you'll be asked to put the program a name, maybe the date on which the procedure was created, or some information about the type of data returned. But if you're just programming alone, use comments to help explain things which you might forget if you come to the code later on.